Alright, all you airsofters out there, my name is, let's just go with Flight Sergeant McEwen because that is my real life rank. And uh, today, I'll be showing you my loadout, all my gear that I got over the past couple years. Un momento, por favor. Just gotta grab my glove. Alrighty. Let's get started. I'll stand up so you guys can get a better look. Here we go, wearing CAD pad at the moment. I do have OD with me. That is what I wear regularly on field exercises, as it is, as it is cadet uh, mandatory. Unfortunately, they don't want us wearing this awesome stuff because we look like the military. And uh, we don't want to get shot at. Anyway, starting from the top, head to, I guess, sock if you want to say, because I'm not wearing boots at the moment because I'm inside my house. Um, let's see. Well, we got my sand dust storm goggles. I got these, Poco Military, for around $25. They do attach to my helmet, but at the moment, I do not have them attached. Great goggles, go right there, match the gloves, which is a nice added bonus. I lost my uh, helmet band, and it was tan, and I'm really kind of upset about that, but whatever, it was like 10 bucks. And crazy for a helmet band. These goggles, great. I, uh, Definitely recommend them, but there are better goggles out there. These come with two visors. There's this visor. Sorry, lens. As well as a tinted one that you can see through, which is great for sun, and this is just good for multi-purpose. Moving on. We have a PS PASGT helmet with fully adjustable liner, CAD pack cover. This is meant for, I believe, a mesh helmet, but it works perfectly fine. It is not your plastic crap. This is good deal in there. That stuff is reinforced fiberglass, so it's not coming apart, and I can drop it and do whatever I want with it. And it stays all sturdy. Good for your head. Regular smog. Pretty nice. Actually, it's great, actually. You can use it for tons of crap. Tons of crap. You can use this for slings, for drags, for putting all your stuff in. It's great. Multi-purpose. I totally recommend it. It's like a great survival tool, even though people say, ah, whatever, it's just a piece of cloth. It's a piece of cloth at your disposal. You can use it for anything. Moving on, stand up. Here is a, I believe it's, it's not NC Star, but it's a tactical vest. I got it from Poco Military, great vest. I do use it for survival. I'm growing into airsoft. I have everything I need for airsoft. As you can see on my person, I just need a gun and a sidearm. My sidearm's crappy. It's like that pullback pistol. It's a piece of crap. Anyway. Three magazine pouches here, they're fully adjustable for pistol mags, fit great, good velcro, the velcro on this is superb. Uh, here I do have two custom pouches, one's a big pouch for miscellaneous stuff that I carry, put my gloves in there, right here, and these gloves, great gloves, are 5-11s. I'm not sure what brand they are because I got them on the sale shelf and it does not say inside but they are 100% cowhide Nomex and more cowhide for the knuckles the great gloves those go right in there along with other miscellaneous items that I carry on exercise hmm. moving on this is my medic pouch it is used for Gadgets and electronics and miscellaneous stuff, but it's great for my medic pouch. I carry all bandages in there on the outside pocket. There's a zipper pocket for whatever you need to stash right in there. Open her up. Tons, plenty of space in there. I got big bandages, I got first aid manuals, and you name it, you can stash in these both these pouches. This is originally a cross draw, but I don't like the cross draw. I love my leg holster to death. So, I switched them and just did a little switcheroo. 
wonderful. Here you have your radio pouch or just multi pouch with Velcro on the front. And it says Infidel Strong. I am Infidel Strong, by the way. Uh, call sign is Iceman. Cool under pressure. Three mag pouches here. Great Velcro. Haven't had a problem. Can carry about anything, even magazines. Well, duh, they're magazines. Fully adjustable at the bottom and in the insides. Uh, they also have grommets for ventilation and water. Moving on behind me, I do have about, say, roughly 35 feet of paracord here attached with two clamps to the front and back. And this is just used for whatever I use it for. I use it for shelter building. I use it for anything if you need to tie off anything. Great stuff. Totally recommend it. Totally useful. Totally strong. Moving on to the back. It's fully molly. Fully molly. I want to get a backpack that has a hydration carrier on it. Just strap it to the back. I have a badge. Do no harm, do no harm. As I am medical personnel, I know how my first aid. I am medic. And I am medic on exercises as well. Okay, standing up. This vest did come with a belt, as well as separately I bought a Condor drop leg holster. It did come with this on it. I didn't like it there because it was really a pain in the butt waggling around while I was running, so I changed a bit of things up. But emergency personnel scissors right here. Come in a very nice sheath. If you do get these, you're going to have to double G WD-40 them like crazy because they're a bit sticky. Work just like any scissor, except OD and black. And they come in a nice pocket. Right there. Strap them up. And this holster, not the best holster in the world. It does its job. Came with the vest. Has one magazine pouch. I'm not even sure if it's a magazine. It's... You know, not the greatest, but, you know, it does the job. Plenty of options along the side here. Fully adjustable up here as well to the belt. You can mount this to any belt or any tack belt. And fully adjustable leg strap is all right there. Very, very stretchy. So you don't have to worry about it not gripping. I have a set of knee pads, tactical knee pads. Only use one knee pad because when I go down, I go down on my right knee for shooting. Right here, you have magazine pouches. It came with two. I only need one because I have three up here. For crying out loud. Oh my god. Plenty, plenty, plenty. I used to have a little knife in there. Don't have it in there at the moment. This also came with the holster. Sorry, the drop leg. And it is. Uh, radio pouch. I use it for my binoculars. Very useful. And again, CAD pad. Uh, I will be going over some of the knives I have. I have a Gerber knife and an awesome buy that I found at my local, uh, what should I call it? Sunday flea market. It's great. You guys will check it out in later videos. Anyways, for people that troll me because I'm a cadet and whatever, whatever you have against me, uh, Appreciate it if you didn't, because, you know, waste my time, waste your time, actually. Makes you look like a complete fool. And, uh, yeah, one more time, we'll go over this. You guys get a good look. I recommend everything. It's great. And, uh, you guys will see me in future videos. I don't have a, uh, name up yet, but I would have told you guys. But, anyways, chilling like a villain. Codename Iceman. Sorry, call sign Iceman. Check you guys out later.